assuming parliament were to take the position that really, as leaders, we want to accept the pay proposed, would you agree to one less than parliament or members of parliament who are your supervisors? When you go to the public and you start selling elected members that they will be uh, that, that they will be sanctioned by some law that they will be sent to committee because of some uh, uh, is that uh, something less than intimidation or incitement to the public <coughs> don't you perceive that we also know that when you make those mistakes you are entitled to those sanctions what, of what benefit does it make to go to the public and start telling elected members that they they, 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 they they will get these sanctions. And so I, I still want you again to locate as you are locating that other one, where you get this authority to be intimidating elected members and, 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 and quite being disobedient and quite being insubordinate to people who have gone out there and have got votes and they are, they are in this <coughs> house to represent people. We assure you again of our dis deepest respect uh, for this house and uh, four members of this house. And this respect comes from the fact that we uphold the constitution that has given uh, the delegated sovereign power of the people of Kenya to this house to exercise legislative authority. As CIC, we are uh, committed to respecting all the constitutional commissions and to working together with them, including yourselves. So if in the course of the performance of our duties, there has been the Im impression that we do not respect you or that we are demonizing you or demeaning you, that has never been our intention because we cannot succeed in fulfilling our mandate without working with this committee, with this House of Parliament. CIC, our issue has not been a matter of the quantum. Indeed, I'm going to declare here before yourselves that we do not attempt in any manner to moonlight uh, as experts who understand the intricacies of how these terms uh, uh, and conditions are, are arrived at. However, what we do know and what the Constitution states is that there is a commission that has been established to undertake this work and come up with that remuneration. The Constitution requires that commission to regularly review. How regularly? That is a matter that now can be discussed between yourself um, in terms of your oversight role, but also PSC together with SRC. Our stand remains that we respect the rule of law, we respect the Constitution. You must allow me, Chair, to say that sometimes we are also concerned when we raise issues of a constitutional nature and members of parliament go into personal attacks, sometimes very vicious. You know, we are all colleagues, you know, and sometimes it is unfair that instead of dealing with issues, what is attacked is our intelligence, which schools did we go to, you know, how foolish we are. Also, that does not help. They, we cannot be talking about retaining the dignity of institutions if parliament itself does not protect the dignity of institutions. This thing is mutual. When we talk to Kenyans like that, it's also not helpful.